Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and I'm going to do a, a short video here, show you a couple things in BricsCAD. Uh, so I've got our BricsCAD template open here, and I just want to show you, um, BricsCAD does have something called Drawing Properties, which you should set up in your template. Um, so it's got some uh, information here that you can, you can put in. Uh, so this is kind of metadata about your drawing. I'm going to just say it's our RH uh, BricsCAD template, and the author will put Landon Blake. Okay, I'm going to say this is the 2022 BricsCAD template for RH. We'll say for finished drafting at Redefined Horizons. www.redefinehorizons.com for more information about our company. All right, you can also add custom properties. I'm not sure, but I suspect there is a way to use these um, in your, um, you're probably in your field editor. Okay, so let's just for the kick of kicks and giggles, we could say drawing type and then value. I'm going to just say template for now. So we can add that in. All right, guys, the other thing I wanted to show you real quick is if you go under insert, they actually have this setting here called geographic location. And uh, you can actually set your coordinate system here, uh, which is kind of cool. So um, I've got, let's say we're in California zone five. So you just, you can find that from the list here. So you wanna make sure you click the one that says feet. It's filtering my location. Let's see here. Yeah, it's still filtering. Uh, let's try CA-V. Yeah, I don't know how to get it to quit filtering like that, guys. Let's see, can we do something here? Let's do, what if we... Yeah, it won't let me delete it. Uh, oh, choose location. Pahaha, <laughs> pick a city. All right, let's go Los Angeles. All right, so now it's going to filter based on me being in Los Angeles. Okay, so we should be able to find CA zone 5. Yep, zone 5 feet. There it is. You can pick that and set your drawing location up. Okay, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to set this to zone 3 because that's the zone we are most commonly in. Okay, so we've got that set up now. Uh, so that is helpful. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save those changes to the template. So now we have some basic uh, drawing properties and we've got the... Uh, geographic location so I did look there isn't a way to access that drawing property in a field it'd be cool if they could do that if the folks at BricsCAD could do that uh, so I wanted to show you that um, then what I'll do to wrap up this video is uh, I do want to show you guys how fields how fields work um, so let's go ahead and create a piece of text so we're going to create some M text here and uh, we're going to Show you how to use fields. So drawing name, drawing date, uh, drafter. Okay, so uh, let's say you got a title block, for example, and you wanted this information in the drawing. What you can do now is you can come over and insert, click this little button here in your dialog, and that'll let you insert a field. Okay, so for the drawing name, that's going to be document title. Okay, and we're going to use it in uppercase. So you can see it, it comes in there as a field. Okay, and then we're gonna do another one. So that's the drawing date. So let's see. 
date and time there we go we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say save date and I don't need that that's what I want I don't need the time okay and then drafter we can come in here and say author in uppercase okay so now you can see uh, that comes in now that's it it's got this fill to let you know it's a field uh, but it's gonna plot just like regular text okay and it takes on the properties of the text style so that's something handy you can use if you've got you know metadata in a drawing in, in text and model space or in a title block that's something that we don't use very often at my team that we that we should start using more uh, so that's a way you can use fields um, now here's a here's a cool thing you can do uh, you can actually um, use the value of an auto list variable as a, 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 the value of a field. So let's say we're going to create an auto list variable here called secq. We're going to say rh drawing type. Okay, and we're going to call the type template. Okay, so now we've got that set here. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. And we're going to say drawing type. And then uh, what we can do now is put in under variables, list variable. And we can find I don't know if there's a quick way to yeah, there isn't. Be nice if they had a quick way to punch in a letter there. Okay, so here's RH drawing type. We'll say we want that in uppercase. Um, and you can see it's added that now. So you can actually create all the fields you want if you know how to code a little auto lisp, which is cool. All right, so that's pretty handy. Uh, so that's how fields work. I wanted to show you guys that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking about it as I'm doing this video, but we should just have a standard block of, of metadata text in each drawing that has this kind of information in it where we use fields. So that's something I'll, I'll add to our uh, to-do list. Um, and we'll, we'll use some fields and we'll have a little standard block of metadata text in there. Um, but pretty pretty handy little tool, so I wanted to show you guys that. And then there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys. But to do that, let's go ahead and open an actual drawing. So it's been on my list for a while to show you guys. I want to show you how to use views, named views. Let's open up our uh, boundary, and then let's xref in our boundary anno. And then I'll show you guys how you can use name views. I, I don't use them, uh, but that doesn't mean that you wouldn't use them, so I wanted to show you how they work. So we've got a drawing now. Now I just know on this particular project that most of our work is being done in this corner of the parcel. So let's go ahead and create a name view. So we're going to go to view and we're going to say, um, I think it's save or store view. So we're going to say view save. Okay, we're going to say save, it says save view as. So we're going to put this as um, cabin site. Okay, and then we're going to come back out here and we're going to save this view. So view, uh, let's see, save restore view, and we're going to call this, we're going to hit save, and we're going to call this one overall. Okay, and then what you can do now is you can toggle between those views. So if you go back to view restore, uh, we're going to say restore view, view to restore, and we're going to say um, cabin, how about cabins? Oh man, that's not working. How about overall? There you go. So it went to overall. I don't know why it didn't restore cabin view. Um, so let's try this. Let's just say in this view, we don't want to see this blue line. Let's see if it'll save the layer state. I don't remember if it does that or not. So 
view, save or store view. I want to save, call it cabins. Okay, so let's just see now. So I'm going to say uh, same thing, view, save or store view. We want to restore and we're going to review, we're going to say cabins. All right, so it doesn't do your layer state, but it will it will pan you to a location. Um, it'd be nice, so it will give you a list. So let's try that again. View, save or store view. We can list list all views, so it tells me what my views are there. Okay, you can see I couldn't find the other one before because I called it cabin site. Um, you know what'd be really cool? We got to get the bricks bricks cad people to give us a it'd be cool if you had a if you had a little graphical dialogue that you could use to do that um, so that'd be cool maybe that's something we'll have to whip up in uh, auto lisp something that would give you just a, a little graphical dial dialogue box with your views so I'm not sure if you guys will use that or not but I wanted to show it to you it's there you can set up name views in your drawing I don't think I'll do it very much but let's see if that shows up in the drawing Explorer Yep, it does. It shows up in the Drawing Explorer. Um, so here you go. Um, you can see all those views that you got in here. Nope. And we can probably delete them. Can we restore them from here? Hmm. Set current, there you go. So you can do that in your drawing explorer. So yeah, that's kind of handy. There's already a little bit of a graphical interface there. I think a little dialog box would be cool, but um, yeah, pretty slick. So all right, guys, that's enough for this video. Appreciate you watching.